Aloha, family, ohana, friends. I have another story for you today called The Tree That Cried by Dora Schwinn. It was written in 1985, so it's got some, some time on it, but it's got a good, good meaning behind it. They're at it again, said the tall old tree who had lived for so many years. 100 years to be exact, can you imagine that? There, what again? asked a little tree growing by its side. And on the ground below where the old tree grew were four little boys and girls. Supposed to be playing and having fun, but that wasn't true at all. They were hitting and punching and pushing and pulling and angry and mad and crying and sad and all because of a ball. Can't you see? said the tall old tree, the little one by its side. They're hitting and punching and pushing and pulling and why? Can you tell me why? If another tree leaned against me or took my son away, I'd just move to the right or the left and I'd grow in another way. It's my turn, cried one. It's mine, shouted two. It's not, cried three. It's mine, yelled four. And there they were, fighting away, angry and mad and crying and sad and certainly having a terrible, terrible day. Now tell me, said the tall old tree to the little one by its side, I would never hit another, would you? Then the entire garden picked up its ears, for everyone listened when the old tree spoke. It had to live so long, and it knew so much. Would you, said a rose to another rose? Would you, said an ant to its brother? Would you, said a worm to a sister worm, would you ever hit another? Well, said the tall old tree, I'm so very old and so very tall. I've seen it all. I've seen a coyote kill, a bird peck, a cat scratch, a dog bite. I've seen a deer push a goat but a bull gore in a grizzly bear's fight. But they're animals, however, wild or tame, and yet boys and girls, they are not the same. They're animals, oh yes, but of a human kind and with a mind, and they're so lucky they can speak, so lucky to know words not like the rabbit or the mink, boys and girls can think. Down below the tall old tree, it still went on the hitting and punching and pushing and pulling and all because of a ball. So the old tree started to shake and tremble, its branches bent and groaning. Its leaves began to fall as though winter wind were blowing. Torrents of leaves came floating down on the children fighting below. Fall, fall, they fell on the fighting fast and slow. And the children looked up and wondered why, hey, hey, hey. Why are you falling down on us that way, especially on a summer day? There was something very strange in the air, like magic all about. You see, the sky was dark, yet the sun was out, and the rain was falling from the top of the tall old tree. Well, that magic made the fighting stop. Hey, I think that old tree's crying. Don't be silly. Trees don't cry. Well, you know what? Maybe they do. Well now, the old tree said with a sigh as it wiped away a tear, at least they're talking and not fighting, so I don't mind losing some leaves. They'll all grow back next year. But I wish they'd learn, and it sighed again, I wish they'd learn to see that sharing and loving and being fair is the only way to be. For if they hit and punch when they're small, think of what they'll do when they're tall. Then the whole garden clapped and shouted, yes, we do agree. Even Snake and Honeybee yelled bravo to the tree. Because everyone knows that boys and girls grow up to be women and men, and if they learn to talk, not fight when they're small, what a lovely, happy world they could make when they're tall. The story of the tree that cried. Remember to talk story with a friend that you haven't met yet today. Aloha.